Welcome back to our knowledge and science lesson. Can you identify the person in this illustration? Did you remember that this is Johnny Appleseed? Can you remember anything about Johnny Appleseed from our story we heard about him? Did you remember that he was famous for planting apple orchards? Maybe you told me that you remember he was poor and wandered from state to state, that he didn't have a place to live, that he thanked the people he met along the way by playing his violin for him. Why did Johnny Appleseed become famous? Did you say that he became famous because he traveled throughout the United States, planting apple seeds wherever he could so that apple trees would go grow everywhere? In today's story, you are going to learn about another person who became famous because of his love for plants. Listen carefully to find out what this person did because he loved plants and how he became famous. Our story title is called George Washington Carver. Today, you are going to hear about another man who, like Johnny Appleseed, became famous because of his love for plants. Do you remember what Johnny Appleseed did that made him famous? Did you say that he planted apple seeds so that apple orchards would grow everywhere? He too lived many years ago, though not as quite as long ago as Johnny Appleseed. His name was George Washington Carver. He became famous throughout the United States as a botanist, which is a scientist who studies plants. Can you say that word with me? Botanist. A botanist is a scientist who studies plants. George first developed his interest in plants as a young boy. As a child, George used his free time to explore the forests surrounding his home on a farm in Missouri. He spent many hours roaming the woods, discovering all sorts of wonderful things. George liked to collect things that caught his eye. George was especially curious about the different kinds of plants he noticed during his explorations. He wanted to study these plants further, but he knew that if he pulled them out of the ground and took them back to the cabin, they would die. Why would the plants die? Did you say because they were cut from the roots? That the roots is how the plant gets oxygen, food, water, the nutrients? What do plants need to survive? Did you remember that plants need sunlight, air, water, and nutrients to survive? 
So when George found an interesting plant, he would carefully dig it up and remove it from the place it was growing, roots and all, so he could plant it in a special garden close to the cabin. A garden is a plot of land where plants are grown. George moved plant after plant to the special garden where he looked after each and every plant, watering and caring for them all to make sure they continued to grow. As an adult, George later wrote, I literally lived in the woods. I wanted to know every strange stone, flower, insect, bird, or beast. Day after day, I spent time in the woods alone in order to collect my floral beauties and put them in my little garden. I had hidden in the brush not far from the house. Fascinated by the plants in his garden, George spent hours tending, observing, and studying them. In time, he came to learn about the special needs of each plant, how much water each needed, whether it grew best in full sunlight or with some shade. George also took a special interest in caring for plants that were not growing well. He became so skillful at caring for these sick plants that people throughout the neighborhood began to call him the plant doctor. What did people in his neighborhood begin to call him? Did you say the plant doctor? That was correct. He took care of sick plants. George's passion for plants led him to develop another talent, that of an artist. Of course, his favorite subjects to paint were his beloved plants. Though he did not have a proper canvas or paints, he improvised with what he could find. A canvas is something you paint on. When you improvise, you make or do something with whatever you have. George made his first paints from different plant parts. He mashed bark, roots, and wild berries and used them to paint on old boards and even flat rocks. George continued to paint throughout his entire life. George was truly a remarkable and talented person. He was an excellent student who learned quickly. He went on to study at college, eventually becoming an expert in botany, the study of plants. After he finished college, George became a professor at a famous university in Alabama. There he spent the rest of his life continuing to study plants and experiment with ways to make them grow better. He discovered many ways to help farmers improve how they grew plants and crops on their farms. Crops are plants that are grown in large numbers to be used by people. George encouraged farmers to grow crops other than cotton, especially peanuts and sweet potatoes. He also found many ways to use peanuts in all different types of products like dyes, oils, and makeups. He even came up with a number of recipes for foods that used peanuts. George Washington Carver, 
is especially remembered today for these discoveries. What two plants did George Washington Carver encourage farmers to plant? He encouraged farmers to plant peanuts and sweet potatoes. Is that what you told Mrs. Johnston? Great job if you did. How did George Washington Carver help farmers? Did you just tell Mrs. Johnston George Washington Carver helped farmers by discovering ways to help them improve how they grew crops and encourage them to use other crops? How did George Washington Carver learn so much about plants? Did you tell me that he learned so much about plants because he took care of plants? He made his own garden when he was a child and studied botany in college. Why was George Washington Carver called the plant doctor? Did you respond with George Washington Carver was called the plant doctor because he was very good at caring for sick plants? How did George Washington Carver make his paints? Did you tell Mrs. Johnston that George Washington Carver made his paints from bark, roots, and mashed berries, which are all parts of the plant? I want to you to turn to the adult and share with them the answer to this question. George Washington Carver was an extraordinary and special person in many ways. And he achieved many things. Of all the different things that George did or accomplished during his life, which one do you think was the most extraordinary? And why do you think that? Mrs. Johnston's response is, I think that it was extraordinary how he used nuts to develop oils and makeup. I look forward to hearing what your response is. I hope you enjoyed our story in science lesson and learning more about this famous person, George Washington Carver.